This is the Rick Howe Show on News 95.7. Now, here's Rick Howe. All right, to 549. And a Newfoundland-based citizens group wants Canada's military veterans to, well, show themselves. They call themselves Our Duty, Inc. And the campaign's been labeled Veterans Among Us. Jeff Rose Martland is the president of Our Duty, Inc., and he joins us on the phone this afternoon from St. John's, Newfoundland. How you doing, Jeff? Hi, Rick. How are things in Newfoundland today, sir? Uh, a little bit on the cold side and, uh, as usual, overcast. Yeah, same here today. As a matter of fact, I can hardly see out my window. It's so foggy uh, here today. Uh, tell us about uh, your, your campaign. What is it that you'd like veterans to do? And, and understand, uh, I see your release here suggesting as many as 800,000 veterans in this country today. That's right. If you uh, tally up the uh, total number of veterans of uh, the wars, those that served during peacetime, uh, the reservists and the RCMP, who also fall under the Veterans uh, Act, um, you put all those numbers together, 800,000 of them. Well, that's a, that's a quite a, a number. And, and what do you want them? You kind of want them to come out of the woodwork, I guess, is what you're suggesting here. Well, that, that's exactly the case. Um, basically, uh, what, I, what I've come to realize is that we work next to veterans all the time, and we bump into them in the mall, and, you know, some of them are friends, and we don't know that they served. Or if we do, we only know that they, were, that they served and not uh, what they did. So I, th- I think that's a shame. We need to know more about it, and we need to see that, there are, that veterans are not just some, some old guys in wheelchairs in, in a, a retirement home somewhere, that they're, they're out there with us every day right alongside us. Yeah, these guys who came out of Afghanistan, for example, I mean, they're veterans too, are they not? That's right. And even the guys that, uh, you know, Rwanda, Bosnia, you know, all the peacekeeping missions, um, you know, they're all veterans. If you've served in the forces, you're a veteran. And if you've been on a peacekeeping mission, you've got a medal in recognition of that. All right. Well, tell us about this, uh, the campaign uh, that you, you've launched here, this Veterans Among Us campaign. What are you proposing that veterans do in order to make themselves more known to Canadians? Well, what we're asking veterans to do is on the 1st of November and the 30th of November, when they're getting ready to go to work or go on outside, go about their day, put your medals on let people know that you did serve and that you were recognized for your service and give us a chance to say thank you. Yeah, give Buy you a coffee, say, you know, glad, glad, ask you questions about where you serve, what, what you did, what's that medal for? You know, I mean, that's something you can't do on Remembrance Day is walk up to a veteran uh, standing there in a full parade uniform and say, hey, what'd you get that for? Yeah, so give give a veteran a hug kind of thing for his or her, or her uh, service to this country. Exactly. Yeah. And also, let us know that, hey, the person working next to us that we've known for five years as a work colleague actually served Canada. You know, um, that will help but change the, the perception that we have of veterans as being World War II veterans or, or Korean veterans. We realize that these are people, some of them are very young, some of them are uh, sort of their regular service, but they're, they got out in their 30s or 40s, and they, they've still got 25 years of working life ahead of them. Yeah, and, uh, and we do have a tendency to forget that uh, uh, the RCMP or former RCMP members are, are also veterans because uh, they not only have, uh, well, their jobs here in Canada, but I mean, they've been to the Balkans, uh, they've been uh, to Haiti, and I understand uh, that some of them have been, along with the municipal police officers, uh, to Afghanistan as well. Uh, that's right, and... Uh, you know, the RCMP in particular uh, tend to go in after the uh, the more, I won't say combat, because it's not combat, but the more heavy-duty military operations are over. The RCMP are the first ones that are set in, sent in to help restore order to certain areas. And Sergeant Mark Gallagher, of course, uh, we all remember him in both New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, uh, lost his life uh, while serving uh, with the RCMP in Haiti after, well, during that uh, that earthquake. Exactly. And we also need to remember that it's not just foreign deployments. Our CMP are outstanding in the, in the middle of snowstorms on on-ramps to the TCH saying, hey, you can't go up there, you know, there's, a, there's an accident or there, it's a blizzard, it's not safe to drive. You know, um, same as the forces do uh, all kinds of home deployments in, in Winnipeg and in Halifax and in Newfoundland, uh, doing disaster cleanup and so on. We rely on our forces and our police force to be the, the last 
the last defense against yeah. everything. Yeah. And so, uh, what kind of reaction are you getting to this so far? Well, so far it's been pretty good. Uh, the response from the veterans has been uh, quite positive. Um, and I received word today that uh, Colonel Pat Stogren, the uh, former yeah. veterans ombudsman, yep. uh, he's uh, he's on board with us. He's supporting the campaign, and um, he uh, he sent a, did a nice post on his blog today, uh, encouraging everybody to participate. So we're hoping it's going to be a great success. All right. So the first of November and the thirtieth of November, veterans are being asked to wear their medals uh, while in their civilian clothes as they go off to work or whatever they're doing. And just to remind us all about the, the contribution these uh, uh, good men and women have made to this country. Exactly. And if you've got uh, any questions, you want to know more about it, you can come to our website. It's ourduty.org. Ourduty.org. That's right. Thank you, Jeff Rose Martlin. Appreciate your time, sir. Uh, thanks for giving me the time, Rick. Have yeah. a great day. You too. And good luck with the campaign. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Jeff uh, Rose McMartland is his name, the president of Our Duty, Inc. Uh, and again, the campaign, Veterans Among Us. Good idea.